Hey guys, welcome back to the Wadog Project 365, episode 342. Today what we're talking about is oxygen deprivation training, or as we like to call it, oxygen discipline training. What we did here is we came into a pool, and uh, I have a kettlebell underneath the water here. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it real quick. But here's the things that I like about kettlebell training, or about water training, aerobic training, and oxygen deprivation training. Is one, it's really easy on the joints, so it's a great day off. It's a great way to recover. But at the same time, we can still get some aerobic capacity training with it. Here's why. What we're doing today is we're walking from one from the shallow end, holding a 53-pound kettlebell, going down to the deep end, where obviously the the water is over our head. So for some period of time, we get a very relaxing workout where we could just kind of stroll along. But then when we get to the point where the water is over our head, we need to down-regulate our cycle, right? We need to control our breath so that way we can hold it as we still do that same exercise underneath the water. So I'm going to show you how it goes and we'll hopefully get it going. We have some fans here, so we don't, we don't know. Hold on, let me grab this kettlebell real quick. doing hi <laughs> there he is right there <laughs> so what we're doing is we're just holding the kettlebell in a goblet squat position uh, and we're literally going to walk all the way down to the end of the pool see you guys down at the bottom see here's where we talk about so, so, walk the whole Aaron, time. that's Aaron he's having a great time too I can walk and everything's fine and dandy until I get to the point where it's almost over my head so here's where I need to control my breath took deep breath from Aaron for a second. <laughs> take, a, take a deep breath and what still be able to control what, what we're trying I'm to do. Like. Shh, just give me half a second, all right? <laughs> and still be able to control what we're doing with the I'm, exercise. I'm so you can imagine if we do five, six, ten rounds of this, how at one point we have a very relaxing exercise. And then, although it's not taxing in the body, it's taxing on the aerobic system. So guys, try that out. Try oxygen deprivation training, oxygen <laughs> depletion training, and see if you, if you can help increase your aerobic capacity. Guys, until tomorrow, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.